Lincoln Rock Paper Scissors Robot, Batting Robot, High Speed Cell Inspection, Projection Mapping, Book Scanning, Highway Inspection. These applications are realized in one thousandths of a second using high speed sensing technology and image processing. Professor Ishikawa's initial research was in the field of bioinformatics. When trying to recreate human functionality, I have always set my goals high. Several people believe that if we develop a system that can make observations at the speed of a human's eye, we can design any kind of intelligent system. However, this approach will not lead to an ultimate system. Therefore, I always ponder over one question. How far must we go to create the ultimate system that makes rapid and intelligent observations? The speed that I aim for is beyond people's imagination. In my earlier research days, we did not have access to excellent processing units or sensors that are used currently. Nevertheless, we set the final goal and have been working toward it. Professor Ishikawa presented his ideas to various researchers in various conferences, meetings. However, researchers all over the world did not take him seriously. They said, impossible. I said, all right, let's do it. Since this technology seems impossible, it is definitely worth working on. This marked the onset of Professor Ishikawa's sale. When I started my research, I was interested in understanding how human beings process information, that is, the processing mechanism of the brain and the sensory motor system. I was interested in analyzing them to a certain extent. However, I was especially interested in finding novel methods or using available devices to recreate these mechanisms with an engineering approach. Numerous researchers in this field have analyzed the human brain. The sensory motor system tried to recreate the same system. They used computers for brains, robots for muscles, and sensors for the sensory system. They all ended up just mimicking the human systems. However, recreating a system from an engineering point of view means redesigning the whole structure from scratch using engineering tools. So, setting the bar at the brain or human level is too low for an engineering goal. In the engineering sense, we should strive to recreate things that actually benefit our society and bring a new, true value to the society. We have set this goal for ourselves. After more than eight years of research, Professor Ishikawa has finally realized his goal of performing any image processing task in milliseconds. He has invented a new technology that enables high-speed image processing, a task said to be impossible. This system, the world's first, is called Massively Parallel Processing Vision. The system has been integrated on a single chip and accelerates image processing tasks dramatically. Approximately 20 years ago, around the year 2000, Professor Ishikawa began a new endeavor to create a market for something that no one has ever seen before. He has uploaded all the technology that he developed in the laboratory to a video sharing website on the internet, thereby sharing it with the world. His biggest mission is to usher in a new era in high-speed image processing. To accomplish this, he considered it vital to disseminate his research to the society for obtaining useful feedback. He wanted to know if his research was recognized. 
The uploaded videos have attracted a great deal of attention all over the world. This interaction with the society has led to collaborative research with companies and a number of commercialized technologies. Currently, his research includes technologies such as sensor fusion, dynamic vision system, system vision design, and active perception. All these subject areas have achieved significant breakthrough. We have four research groups in our lab that are interactive and often collaborate with each other eagerly. The first group is sensor fusion. Here, we are developing high-speed intelligent robots for high-speed image processing. In general, a robot equipped with a camera is slow because of low camera speed. Therefore, using a high-speed camera and high-speed image processing, we are creating robots that work at high speed. To date, we have developed a Jonkin rock-paper-scissors robot and a batting robot. Recently, we have been focusing on designing industrial robots equipped with a camera to achieve both high speed and accuracy. We call this dynamic compensation. This new approach to improve the performance of conventional industrial robots involves installing an attachment onto robots to enable high-speed visual feedback. Not limited to industrial robots, our approach can also compensate for slow human operations. Attaching it to the tips of human hands improves their ability as well. In this way, we are investigating how humans and robots can interact to achieve high-performance tasks. The second group is Dynamic Vision System. Here, we pursue dynamic systems. Unlike the conventional slow vision system, we have learned from human gaze control to create a high-speed vision system. We aim at mechanically recreating the human gaze control at high speed. Because the gaze control is enhanced with machine power, it is possible to capture numerous fast-moving physical phenomena in detail. For example, we can visually capture a high-speed flying object and its flying state in air. Recently, we applied this technology to dynamic projection mapping, projecting an image onto a moving object. We can perform projection mapping even on free and quick moving objects. Whatever the speed of the object, now we can accurately perform a projection on it. The third group is system vision design. In this group, we have been working on accelerating the vision system itself especially the hardware for high-speed image processing. We have been developing various types of high-speed vision hardware. Recently, we have developed a stacked vision chip in partnership with a private company. This hardware enables less power consumption, small modules, and high-speed image processing functionality integrated into a small intelligent system. Using a stacked CMOS imager and a vision chip, we achieved high-speed target tracking and dynamic projection mapping. We have also developed high-speed 3D measurement technology. We now have the power to perform the 3D measurement of an object in one thousandth of a second. After the 3D shape of the object is determined, we can achieve a projection mapping that is well tailored to the shape of the target. Thus, we have enabled a new type of projection mapping. The fourth group is active perception. Here, our research focuses on recreating sensory functions that go far beyond those of humans. By using fast image processing and visual feedback, we can capture a wide range of images. For example, this technology can capture a detailed video of the tunnel's wall, even at high speeds. By calibrating the system to milliseconds, it is now possible to capture the tunnel wall. 
with an accuracy of 0.2 millimeters or even 0.1 millimeters. This technology can be applied to a variety of inspection systems, such as line inspection in factories, where the task can be completed much faster than that achieved by humans. These researches are never standalone. We have shown proof of concepts by creating real systems and by demonstrating that they are realizable. Currently, we are promoting industry collaborations to put them to practical use. Hence, we will continue our research and bring value to society. A few examples where our contributions can help society are factory automation, automotive industry, high-speed book scanning, and human interfaces. <laughs> the students and staff at the Ishikawa Lab enjoy casual discussions in a relaxed manner. Various annual events deepen their relationship with each other. With a clear goal of contributing to society, the Ishikawa Laboratory has continued sailing to achieve cutting-edge technology. The goal of our research is to create new, never-before-seen intelligence systems with our own hands. What we have already seen somewhere, or what is written in a book, is the truth of the past. What we seek is a truth for the next generation, and research that will create value for society. There are no textbooks or methodologies. We have to create all things by ourselves. When something is widely appreciated, it becomes the truth of the future. We will pursue that thought even further. <laughs>